So here are a few things that I sold over the weekend. This is a vintage Boy Scout shirt from my father's collection. Uh, vintage patches on it. I think I got about $30 for that. A pair of Echo jeans. Uh, Mark Echo. Uh, I think they call them Select or something. Yeah, Cut and Sew. Got $20 for those. This is a vintage Chris Jericho WW. Is it WWF? Yes, this is a WWF, not a WWE t-shirt. I'll try to throw a snapshot up of that. Um, that's my thank you card that I put in them. I get them from eBay. But I got $80 for that. I only paid a dollar for it. These I only paid about $5 for. That was free. This blazer here was my father-in-law's. My mother-in-law gave them to me earlier in the year to sell them. I wasn't going to sell them on eBay. But I decided to and I got $20 for that. Figure they're free. If I make $10, I don't care. Um, this is a heart album. I got $12 for that. These are some shoes I paid up a little bit for them. I think I paid $16.99 for them, but I got $40. So I made, what, $15. Yeah, they may be able to go first class. These are some old ASICs that I have. I am not buying ASICs anymore. I'm not going to be like I was born to thrift and put all my shoes on uh, auction. But I may reduce the price to just make little to no money just to get rid of a bunch of them. This came with the PS3 when I bought it. I bought it to play for myself, but to also have um, be able to test games if I buy them. And this one was part of that collection. This is one of those hunting games that if you have the gun, you know, the orange gun. Uh, I think I got like seven bucks for that. But like I said, I'm just selling games that I didn't want. The ASICs, I think I got $20. Kingsman, if y'all have watched my channel, you know what I do with recent videos. I mean, recent DVDs and Blu-rays. And that was $17. This one here is the one I wanted to talk about. This massive box. What it has in it, I will show you now. This is a vintage two ball bowling bag. Oh, it's a burgundy bag. There's that one, it had one little blemish on it. I don't know what that was. I couldn't get it off. It is a very nice bag. It did have one little hole near the top, but that's no big deal. Um, there's a scratch mark on it. The handles were still intact. And there it is on the side view where it comes down your two bowling balls where you can put your two balls. You can put both your balls in this bag along with some shoes. Now, why you want to put shoes with your balls, I don't know. Sorry, joke there. Um, I wanted to show you this for two reasons. One... Make sure I don't have the customer's name in the shot. I don't. You see how much I got for it. I paid $3.99 for this at a um, thrift store. So, now here's the catch. The catch is, you see this box. This box... I cut down at first let me adjust this there you go all right at first this box was I measured it at 22 15 11 
and my UPS total was coming up to 30, 30 to $35. I don't remember. USPS wanted 35 and FedEx wanted 34 Um, I cut the box down to fit because it's a long bag. Uh, holds two balls. Another joke there. Um, so I decided to cut it down and see if it could save me. I went from, uh, uh for UPS, I went from around $30 to $21. So, yes, it's going to cost, and that's the, that's, that's also another reason I wanted to do this video because I wanted to show the disadvantage of doing free shipping. I've gone to free shipping because Amazon does free shipping and everybody and their mother thinks that everything is free. We should get things for free. You know, oh, it, it don't cost us nothing. No, just like the just like the giving you something with the government, you'll pay more in taxes so you don't get nothing for free. You will pay for it. I really need people to understand that. Um, just like free shipping, it's free for the customers, but us as sellers, we still have to pay for it and pay our money to ship this item no matter where it is, what it is or where it goes. And in this case, it is going to Miles City, Montana. Now, I've never heard of Miles City, Montana, but then again, I don't look up a lot of cities in Montana. But judging by the price of the item shipping-wise, I'm assuming this is a more rural area, and that will cost you more because the further they have to drive out of the city, the more it's going to cost you. I mean, this could be near Billings. You know, if it was in Billings, it might be $5 cheaper. So there's things like that you got to think of when you do free shipping, and that's the disadvantage. I mean, if this had gone to somewhere in California, it probably would have been more expensive. And that's, that's the downside of free shipping for us sellers. When we factor in the cost into the price, sometimes we don't factor in what we what might happen and in this case it went to a less populated area outside of a city because i mean I, miles city you know okay i've never heard of that so evidently that's not a major city in montana i don't live near montana i don't keep up with the north because i don't want to live there it's too cold it's too cold in tennessee right now it's only 40 degrees well it's 45 now Woke up this morning, it was 32. I don't like cold weather. I want to go back to Florida. But, until then, that's the disadvantage of free shipping. And that's what I wanted to make this video on, is size sometimes matters, because that's why you cut, I bought a box resizer from Lonnie over at Shed Flips, and I resized the box. It shaved... Well, it went from 22 to 18, so I shaved 4 inches off this box, and 4 inches saved me $10. Thank you. Be here all night. But, um, yeah, uh, don't be afraid to cut your boxes down. Don't be afraid to look at all your options, although I do not, and unless they fixed it, I don't know. But do not use FedEx because they re-weigh the box and change the size. And I've, I've seen it myself on mine. Luckily, it didn't cost me a lot of money, maybe a buck or two over the few that I did see. But John over at Flipping Ain't Easy did a video on it. And he, I think over three months, lost about two to three hundred dollars because of it. So it is not a great thing to do. So, but like I said, I just wanted to do this video. I quickly showed you what I sold. Um, vintage shirts. I got that Chris Jericho shirt at a yard sale for a dollar. So be on the lookout. Sometimes you can find finished shirt at yard sales. Um, 
everything else got from a thrift store or from my own personal collection as all the music and stuff is but just showing you different things i wanted to do this video on the box itself to show you one what you need what you can look for at a yard sale i mean a thrift store for $3.99 i turned $3.99 and 50 dollars yes it cost me half of that to ship it but i still made over 20 dollars or around 20 dollars after fees and everything so three dollars into 20 you know you made 17 dollars you didn't have so just be on the lookout you never know what kind of specials you can find at a thrift store and that's it please subscribe like thumbs up or thumbs down i prefer thumbs up but i heard it don't matter anymore i don't know that's what rally roots were saying someone else said something about that too but anyway y'all have a good one i appreciate every one of you that have subscribed if you have not subscribed and you like content content like this Please subscribe, like the video, help me out, help me reach my thousand subscribers. I appreciate it. Y'all have a good one.